Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Yeah! Woo! All right, all right. Maybe I'm just getting carried away here. I'm just getting excited because we're playing hot cross buns today. Now, here's the deal. Uh, hot cross buns might be an easy tune for some people. Some people might be a little challenging, but the point of us playing it today is to get you used to using smart music. We're going to be playing all different kinds of music this year. Cool music. You're going to be loving it. But uh, this is just to get you used to smart music. So that's why we're playing this song today, right? So don't, don't freak out. Um, the way it's going to work is you're going to log into smart music smart music so you're going to go to your assignment and log in so you press smart music assignment and you log in using your username and your password log in then you're going to click the appropriate class that you're in so whatever class you're working on and you find your hot cross buns you click start click your instrument uh, whatever your instrument is here. Uh, pianos, uh, you can click uh, flute or uh, keyboard percussion that uh, might register. Um, it might pick up the piano sound, so you can experiment with different ones, whichever one you think is the best that works best for you. Um, so I'm going to pick trumpet. Click OK. And then when uh, you open, it'll give you instructions. It says, hey, get an A+. Plus. Uh, this is what it looks like, all right? This is what smart music will look like. Uh, all the piece will look like hot cross buns. Um, a few things that you see here, if you just want to listen to the piece, um, you press play, the green button. So we're going to do that. We're going to listen to hot cross buns. Here's what it sounds like. Yes, I love this song. If you uh, were watching me, I'm like grooving behind her. This is the funkiest hot cross buns you'll ever hear. Um, and so that's the song, right? It's just three notes. Uh, mi, mi, re, do. Uh, that's it. Okay. Now, a few things. Uh, the accompaniment is the background music, like the music playing in the background. If you want to lower that, you can go up here. If you want to lower your part playing along, you can use this up here where it says my part, lower or higher, right? I'm going to lower it when I play, but you can uh, keep it up or lower it. It's up to you. The metronome is the clicking behind the music, right? Keeping the beat, the one, two, three, four, click, 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 click. You can lower the volume or raise that as desired. Um, and the way this works is a few things. If you ever are not certain of what note you're supposed to be playing, uh, you can just click on a note. Let's say if I just click on this note, and to the left of it, it will tell me how to play it, whatever my instrument is. And to the right of it, uh, it will, it will uh, hear the note. So you can hear the note. It's important to have that in your head. So that's for every note on smart music. If you ever want to go back to the beginning, you just click the cursor, the blue cursor, right at the beginning. Um, you'll always need headphones plugged in. Uh, so that's important to do that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to play Hot Cross Buns uh, with smart music. I'm going to press the record button and it says select this mode melodic through microphone. It'll already be preset for you. So you just said select this mode. Unplug my headphones to test my microphone. Click test my microphone. And you do this every single time. Uh, for better results, you're going to plug in your headphones one more time and then you're going to click start. And be ready with your instrument because you're going to be playing as soon as you click, click start. It'll have four counts to start off and then you go right into hot cross buns. So here we go.
you can see all my notes are green. That means I played them all correctly. Sometimes they might be red. Sometimes they might be orange or yellow. That means maybe you missed something. And just try it again. It's okay if even when you submit it, they're a little bit off. As long as you're, you're doing the best you can and you submit the best version you can. All right, so that's really, really important. So, like, uh, here's an example of me playing some wrong notes. Uh, so I'll, I'll do it again. I'll press record um, so you can hear me playing some wrong notes. All right, I won't subject you to any more, but that's the idea. Um, and if you go up here where it says my takes, you'll have all the different versions you played. So the version I played first, yeah, I like that one, maybe the second version. Say I want to click the first version again. What if you want to hear yourself, hear what you sounded like? Click this uh, blue button and you'll be able to hear it. So I'll give you an example. Right, so you can hear yourself playing. Um, so to conclude, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to my takes, you're going to find the best version you can. You can try it as many times as you want. You click on the best version and then you hit submit. So that's hot cross buns. You can do it. It's three notes. Do it the best you can. Keep a steady beat. Have fun. Go for it. And click submit so that we get it.